Rockton Optimism 2023 saw Rockton Group's largest interactive event return to a live, in-person format at Pacifico, Yokohama. The event strove to open the eyes of attendees on how innovation and technology, especially AI, are pioneering a new era. Rockton Group Chairman and CEO Miki Mikitani kicked off the event with an inspiring keynote. He was joined by special guest, CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman. Uh, え、we have been known each other for over 25 years, but can you give us your feedback about, you know, uh, what is the opportunity between OpenAI and Rockton Group? We think that the quality of the AI you know, models is very early stages, and the models are just going to get better and better. And when we look into this, picture, we see incredible new possibilities in healthcare, in education, and all these other industries, and working together with market market is extremely exciting. そしてユーザー小さな会社、大きな会社、あるいは国、地方、国境団体、こういうものをですね、エンパワーメントを 20% え、望んでいきたいというふうに思っております。Throughout the three days, experts across a range of industries shared insights on numerous topics, including the future of AI, cloud, e-commerce, travel, digital transformation, innovative technology, mobile communications, fintech, regional revitalization, sustainability, and inclusivity. Over at the Future Festival Convention Hall, there were many booths displaying the technology used by Rockton Services. At the AI photo booth at the Future Tech Museum, Rockton Institute of Technology customized the technology normally used at the back end of Rockton businesses. Using Creative AI, the system detects uh, facial expressions of visitors and then displays a customized like flower artwork on top of their clothes. So uh, we're using various computer vision technology for this effect, including image segmentation and face detection. Uh, face detection is currently used as at businesses such as Rectin Global Express and we also wanted to tie in the exhibition with this tech and green themes so that's why we chose uh, to display this flower artwork. At the Rockton mobile booth, using VR headsets, users could experience skateboarding, tandem cycling and surfing through the eyes of professional athletes, giving them a taste of the speed and momentum of the sport. Another booth allowed users to compete with a Super Formula professional racer using driving data from a past race. 
So the um, AR app that we have here today um, is actually developed uh, by our in-house XR team. So we are a team of four uh, with many years of experience uh, building AR and VR applications and uh, building natural interactive user experiences, um, as well as in terms of um, character animations and uh, building a game world. So we are currently investigating how we can use uh, generative AI together with XR and 5G, as well as edge, edge computing um, to create interactive experiences that could eventually turn into new services uh, for Rakuten Mobile and uh, Rakuten Group. Rakuten Gora's booth offered a sneak peek of a newly developed technology especially for golfers. Jointly developed by Rakuten Gora, Rakuten Institute of Technology and Keio University, the new service supports golfers through utilizing AI to analyze each face in a golfer's swinging motion to discover areas for improvement. Using video images captured by the camera, AI identifies things like position of golf club and position and posture of golf ball. AI checks things like motion of golf club and movement of body to identify the quality of golf swing. Yeah, well, actually, AI のやっぱこう技術を使った。こう展示がやっぱり多くって、やっぱこう実際にこう自分のこう肌とか体を動かしながら体験できるっていうのがなんかすごいやっぱこう印象的で、今日も結構いろんなところで体いっぱい動かしてきて、今ビール飲んでるんですけど、そこがすごいなんだろう新鮮でしたねすごく。だから今日のカンファレンスでもあの三木谷さんがあのオープン AI チャットのその提携。とか発表されてて、ちょっとびっくりしたというか知らなかったので、あこれからそういう風に進んでいくんだなっていうのがまあ今日知れて、そこすごく良かったなと思います。いやもうネットニュースとかにももう早速上がってたみたいで、なんか間近でそのサプライズを聞くことができて嬉しかったですね。やっぱりこう本当に今 AI とのも技術の最先端になんか言い合わせてるような感覚が。はい